Hello again. So my parents have decided that they're going to meet my wife and son and I in San Diego so that they can hang out with us for the weekend and then see me off at the Southern Terminus. So when they decided they were going to drive out there, I decided to go ahead and let them take my pack and all my gear so I don't have to worry about checking it on the plane. I could just get on a plane, get to San Diego, and my pack will be there waiting for me. So today was going to be one of my last opportunities to be able to show you guys my final gear picks for the PCT this year. So first on my list is my Light AF 40 liter Curve with the extra large hip belt and hip belt pockets. Next is this stuff sack which has my enlightened equipment Revelation 20 degree quilt, my sleeping clothes, my town shirt, and my extra socks. This is my Z-Pax duplex tent. It also has the carbon poles for it. I'm not going to be using trekking poles so I've got the carbon poles inside there which are inside their own stuff sack which you can also get from Z-Pax. This is my Thermarest Neo Air x Light long version. Got the long version because it's got extra five inches of width which is good for me and my wide body. Inside there is also my Trekology pillow and the Thermarest pump sack so that I can use that pump sack to blow up my air mattress at the end of the day. My first aid kit which has all of my first aid and patch equipment for my gear plus some medicines and nail clippers and all kinds of stuff like that. I did a video on that and everything that's inside it if you want to check that out. It's my electronics bag. Uh, right now there's only the iPhone cable and a micro USB cable in here but the rest of the electronics will be in there as well. Got an anchor 21,000 milliamp hour battery pack so that I can keep my phone charged since I'll be doing all of my videoing, editing, and posting on the phone. It'll be nice to have that extra amount of power to charge up my phone and my Garmin. I've got an Anchor 2 port USB quick charger. That's why it's so big. Um, it does charge quite a bit faster. I've tested it a few times. Uh, it's probably about half the time it would take to charge with a regular brick. Now this is the first thing here that I've changed. I originally had a Gorillapod Mini. I'm now going with this Ultrapod. Not necessarily because it's lighter, but the Gorillapod got really annoying to try to articulate into place. I generally ended up just spreading it all the way flat so that it could sit and not tip my phone over. And then it was really hard to get it all back. Well, not hard, but really annoying to get it all back straight to fit into my side pocket. So I went ahead and traded to the Ultrapod Mini, and I really like it so far. Uh, Black diamond headlamp, my little shutter button for my camera on my phone. This is my Z-Pax bear bag. I do have the Light AF rock sack and line, throw line, because the first time I used my Z-Pax, both of those failed, the rock sack and the Z-Line. So I replaced those with the Light AF. I've got my composition notebook so I can write letters to my wife and son and send them back when I get into towns. It also has Yogi's handbook pages in here and my campfire, California campfire permit and my PCT permit are in there as well. I've got the Garmin InReach Plus, so the two-way communicator so that I can talk to my wife back and forth. I, that's really important to me. I didn't get it so much for the GPS, but it's nice to have the backup maps on here that are preloaded. Also, the SOS button is a nice peace of mind. So windsock for my microphone. I'm using the uh, Rode Video Mic Me. I actually have it on my phone right now. It plugs right into my iPhone, and that windsock will just help on the crazy windy days. For water, I've got my Nock Vecto 2 liter. I originally was going to take two of these, which is in my original video, but there's been so much rain in the desert this year. I think I'm going to be able to get away with just the 2 liter here and my two one liter smart water bottles plus my 23 liter bottle that I will keep on my shoulder strap. For filtration, I have the Sawyer Micro. I originally had the Sawyer Squeeze, but the Sawyer Micro and the Sawyer Squeeze both had the exact same capabilities, and this came in at half the size, half the weight, so I went ahead and changed that out. Got my REI medium size pack towel for drying myself off and condensation from the inside of my tent in the mornings. I have a generic net gator that I got off Amazon. This is a smart wool, very, very lightweight, very thin beanie. It's incredibly warm. When you first put it on, it's like, whoa, that's not going to keep my head warm at all. But then as soon as your head heats that thing up, it turns into an oven. Here I've got my Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. 
my anti-gravity gear rain pants the cirrus i think it's cirrus not serious it's cirrus gloves for cold weather they're uh, three season gloves but they are also water resistant not necessarily waterproof so that'll be nice um outdoor research sun gloves Enlightened Equipment Apex Torrid Synthetic Jacket for my puffy. I went synthetic instead of down. A Benz Bug Net. I probably won't need it for the majority of the trail, but it's so light I'm just going to carry it all the time so I don't have to worry about shipping it back and forth. Outdoor Research Sun Hat. It's got good ventilation and a sun visor that goes all the way around the sides and back to cover my ears and my neck. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start with my micro spikes. These are Catula micro spikes because there is so much snow in the desert right now and the first couple hundred miles I'm going to end up needing them. My wife's going to be in San Diego for a week after I start so it would be just kind of a logistical nightmare to have her try to send those to me in Idlewild. So I'm going to go ahead and start with those. Um, I did decide to go ahead and take some cleaning wipes. Not a whole lot just for uh, extra cleanliness if I feel like I'm getting a little bit too rank. Then I've got my toilet paper and my deuce of spades trowel. A Z seat so that I can keep my butt dry and a little more comfortable when I sit down on the ground. I'm going to be starting with this um, Sun Grubby's umbrella, UV umbrella in the desert. I'm not real sure I'm going to need that now, but I am going to go ahead and take it. If I don't need it, I can ship it home or leave it in a hiker box. And then when I get to the Sierra, I'm definitely going to get rid of it if I haven't already. I changed from my Vargo Bot 700 to a Tox Light 650 because I didn't plan on doing any cold soaking after I found out I didn't like it at all. <laughs> so I went ahead and lightened up a little bit, actually saved me half the weight on that one. Uh, I did decide to take, I think this was in the first video, I did decide to take a can stand. I like the extra stability, kind of clumsy. It won't save me from everything, but <laughs> it'll be nice on uneven ground. Um, got a pack towel Nano that I am going to use to clean my cookware. I changed my BRS stove to a MSR Pocket Rocket 2 because the wind stability is a little better. It did add a little bit of weight, so it actually canceled out the weight savings of the pot, but I like the stove a lot better for its versatility. Uh, I did change from the Snow Peak Titanium Spork to a Tox Folding Spoon because I don't ever use the spork part of or the fork part of the spork. So I went with this spoon and it folds and will fit right inside my uh, cook pot along with everything else. I changed from a full size Bic to a mini and I, all of this fits inside the tokes including the stand and they all go in this light AF pot sack to keep the lid on and everything nice and secure and then that'll go down in one of my side pockets on my backpack. So that's about everything that made it into my pack, at least to start with in the desert, and I'm sure things will change. Like I say, when I get out there and start figuring out what I need, what I want, what I don't need, what I don't want, I can start changing up my gear. But I gotta start somewhere, so this is where I'm gonna start. Now I showed in there there were quite a few changes. Um, I also did end up taking out a couple things. I ended up taking out my camp shoes. I didn't think I needed those. I will get a, or I have gotten a little lightweight pair of water shoes. That will be sent to me in Kennedy Meadows so that I can use for fording the streams when I'm in the Sierra, but then those will go back home when I get out of the high Sierra. Another thing I ended up getting rid of was my wind jacket. I found that I originally wanted it so that I could wear it for something a little lighter to, when it wasn't quite as hot and I didn't want to wear my rain jacket, but I found that it was pretty much just as warm as my rain jacket, so it wasn't going to be any less sweaty inside it, I guess. So I ended up just getting rid of that and I'm going to use my rain jacket for in place of it, so dual purpose on the rain jacket. Since the last video, I also did add a microphone, which I mentioned earlier, and the windsock for the microphone, for just to get a little bit a better audio quality. It doesn't seem to be a problem when I'm holding the camera close to me, but when I'm standing here talking to it like this or sitting in front of me, it does seem to help out a whole lot and it definitely helps out on the wind. So I'm going to go ahead and carry that with me as well. I did end up getting rid of one of my 2100 milliamp hour batteries. I was going to take them both because I planned on doing some heavy editing while I was out in the backcountry and decided that for the 12 extra ounces that that battery was, I would probably just postpone a week of posting videos so that I could be a little bit ahead and I wouldn't need to edit while on the trail. I can edit when I'm in towns and that saves the weight of that battery and having to charge it as well.
I also ended up cutting out probably half the weight in my first aid kit. And that was partially because I had a whole bunch of extra repair tape in there that I forgot I had stored in there and I took all that out. But I also minimalized um, certain containers that were in there to change them for little baggies. So I ended up cutting the weight in half of that, so that's nice. It's down to seven ounces instead of 14, so that's good. All in all, I'm really happy with all the gear that I've got so far. I'm really happy with the minimal testing I've been able to do with it. And I think I've got only about 60 miles on almost all of the gear and some of it is just kind of a, <laughs> I think I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna put that in there and we'll see how it goes. If I don't end up using it, I'll just get rid of it. But for now, this is my setup and this is what I'm gonna start with in the desert in just eight days. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions about any of my gear at all, why I picked it, what exactly it is, you want a little bit more information on it, I do have a lot of videos broken down into the main pieces of gear if you want to check those out. If I don't have a specific video for a specific piece of gear that you want to know something about, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can on that. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. If you're interested in any of the gear that I've purchased, I am going to put links for all of the gear mentioned in this video in the description. Uh, thanks to Dan Becker, I now have an Amazon affiliate account. He uh, kind of nudged me a little bit and told me I needed to set one of those up. I am going to put Amazon affiliate links down in the bottom. And all that means is if you see any gear that you like here or you just want to go to Amazon and check out more gear, if you click any of my affiliate links at the bottom, it'll take you to Amazon and anything you purchase after clicking my link will give me a few cents here and there. It does not take any extra money from you. You pay exactly the same as you would if you were to just go to Amazon yourself. I just get a little bit of kickback for being the one who drew you into that Amazon purchase. So if you feel like you would like to support the channel or the trip, that's a perfect way to do it and I would greatly appreciate it. So I don't know about you guys, but after spending the last three months talking nonstop about all of my gear, as much as I love talking gear and I love the feedback that I'm getting from all of you, I am so much more than ready to start making trail videos, to start bringing you backpacking videos to this backpacking YouTube channel. So I am on a plane with my family this coming Friday in five days we will be headed to San Diego and I will be on trail the following Monday, March 11th. And I am going to try to put out two videos a week while on the trail and I will be posting them on Sundays and Thursdays for those of you who are interested. I will probably skip a week. So I will be on trail next Monday and I will probably not post a my first video until the following Monday. And then from then on, there will be two a week, one Sunday and one Thursday. Almost time now, guys. This time next week, I'll be spending my last night in a, the Hotel Indigo in San Diego with my family. And that Monday morning, they will drive me to the terminus and drop me off and set me on my way. So if this is your first time to my channel or the first video of mine that you're seeing and you're interested in following me along on my PCT adventure, which starts in eight days, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and follow along. Until next time.